I'm Kevin Coleman with the Santa Post, and I am with Joe Weathersby, who is one of the two Republican candidates for the Ross County Clerk of Courts. Correct. So, first, uh, what is your experience for this job? I have been a Marine. I uh, was in the United States Marine Corps. After the Marine Corps, I became a police officer. Told Coffee, I was a police officer from 1980 to 2003. During that period of time, I worked patrol, firearms instructor, special response team, SWAT team, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I was union president for seven terms. During that time, I uh, was able to spearhead building a new FOP lodge on a property that we owned down in the corner of MacArthur and Lilly. I was a guest instructor at the Fraternal Order Police of Ohio uh, at the State House or at the State Lodge and taught political screening committee techniques and contract negotiations. Uh, after my time, well and then I was in detectives. So I was in a detective. So I worked with the courts as far as taking paperwork over for the courts. We, uh, I retired from there and worked at Adena for 15 years. Adena Hospital? Adena Hospital, yes. And during that 15 years, I worked primarily in the, in the, the endoscopy department, outpatient endoscopy. And I did all of their uh, ordering for that department as well as assisted physicians doing procedures. Uh, I was able to save our department about $200,000 a year on uh, cost of our supplies while getting the best uh, equipment we could get and getting additional training from the manufacturers for the latest techniques. So d what is the job that you are seeking to get from the, uh, the voters? The clerk of courts? The, cor the clerk is responsible for multiple things. Uh, all paperwork coming into and out of the court goes through the clerk's office. It has to be professionally handled. It has to be time, date stamped. It has to be quickly moved through the process and into the court so it can be taken care of so that motions and so forth are not left laying on the desk somewhere. We have to cross train our staff to work more efficiently and more effectively and we have to get that paperwork turned over in hours and not weeks. The clerk's also responsible for the title bureau. The title bureau has less issues, is my understanding right now, than the clerk's office itself. The clerk's office isn't a bad place and we don't have bad people. We just have to step up our game and be more effective and more efficient because that's what the taxpayers are paying for is professionalism and I think I have the skills and the drive and a little bit of OCD to get that process moving along and get it organized. All right so how can people learn more about your campaign? Well I uh, I don't have a actual web page uh, I posted stuff on Facebook under my name uh, but if you want to know about me, everything that I've told you is what it is. It's law enforcement background, military background, so it's all been about being effective, efficient, overcoming obstacles, and being there in the time of need. It's all about that. In my spare time, I am treasurer of the Cigar Band, which raises funds for a number of charitable organizations in Ross County. And in addition to that, I'm a trustee at AMVETS. So we have three trustees. I am one of the three. We're responsible for the day-to-day -day operation of that club and providing services for veterans. Well, we work to get the money for those things appropriated so that we can provide the services that are needed. And then at the Elks, I uh, am chaplain 
of the uh, local Cholacathe Elks organization. So, All right. Tell me a little more about the uh, Cigar Band. <laughs> cigar Band is a group of individuals who enjoy cigars and they got together and formed a group in 2009. <clears throat> of those beginning few people, they decided if we're gonna do this, we should do something for the community. That started out with little projects that became bigger projects. The cigar band right now is less than 50 people. Uh, last year we gave away over $27,000 to charities. Uh, we do uh, uh, three major events. The first one is Swine and Stuggies, and that's held out at Creekside Occasions in May. And we will do that. And that money primarily goes to the Good Samaritan Food Pantry to help. For every dollar we give them, they say it's worth two. So we gave them 6000 last year. So we give them 6000 a year before, too, or so. Uh, we do an event later in the year, Bike Night for Mike. That money goes to the uh, Adena Cancer Center. And because uh, one of our members, excuse me, one of our members, her father was Mike Porter. Mike passed from cancer. And that's why we do Bike Night for, night for Mike. And Mike was so pleased with the care that he received from the Cancer Center at Adena that in lieu of flowers or anything else, he wanted the money, any donations to go to the cancer center. So we've taken that and kind of ran with it. And we do donations every year to the cancer center. And then lastly, we competed in Chili Fest for years and we won it so many times we were actually asked to take it over. So that chili recipe was retired and we took over Chili Fest. Last year, uh, we didn't do quite as good as the year before. The year before, Perfect Storm Ohio State didn't play and we had a beautiful weather and all of that. We managed to give uh, Rock for Tot $7,000. Last year, it was a little less than that. We hope to get back up in that higher range again this year. But that provides Christmas for underprivileged kids. We also have donated to Shop with a Cop, Pioneer School. Uh, I can't remember the name of the organization out of Pike County uh, that works Southern Ross and part of Pike County. Uh, it's employees of the uh, atomic plant and uh, they provide Christmas for some other kids that aren't in these other groups that are getting service. Uh, they do that. We've donated to... Well, that's all under the cigar oh. band? That's all under the Everything. cigar band. He is the, tre he is the treasurer. So. Okay. so, a good cause. He is the candidate. <laughs> so okay. He is the treasurer of all of that. <laughs> so, we, uh, we try to get in and we actually have kind of started a new partnership with AMVETS and it's going to provide us a little more money to do uh, some more community oriented events. Okay. So, And this is your treasurer here? Yeah, this Helping is my treasurer for my election. Hi. This is Kim Larch. All right. And uh, so how can people learn more about the Cigar Band? Do they have a Facebook page or website? We, we, have do. A, we, have, we do have a Facebook it's a page. It's private. It's a private organization. Like I said, there's only about 50 of us. So, but if uh, someone wants to join or learn about it, to think, consider joining. Talk uh, to them. Catch us at one of our events and we will contact take, one of us. Yeah, you, you can contact either one of us. But come out to Swan and Stogie's in May and we'll give you a big taste of it. All right. Do, so, at Creekside, Creekside. Yeah, Creekside Occasions. Yep, on 772 just yes. south of Chilicothe. Yeah, yeah, just outside of town. Huge All right. event. Yeah. All of our events are huge. Yes. All right. Well, Ken Weathersby. Joe Weathersby. Joe Weathersby. I already talked to another Ken. Yeah, I think you're fine. Joe Weathersby, you are running for the Ross County Clerk of Courts. Correct. There's only one other candidate who is a Republican, so this is a primary situation. Yes. 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 
So whoever wins the spring primary. election will go will be on the yes. be on the ballot by themselves. Come the general election in November. And the current office holder is a Democrat, but he's retiring from yes. the office. Yes, he's retiring from the office. All right. Uh, Joe Weathersby, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.